Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another highly requested slime shop review. I purchased a ton of slimes from Rotom Slimes and Putty Egg, who I haven't reviewed in a very long time. So I am so excited to share this review with you guys. And a quick reminder, my slime shop restocks on Thursday, May 12th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have been selling out very quickly and this is going to be another restock with over 1,500 slimes. So if you guys are interested in purchasing, set your alarm so you don't miss out. And for today's post notification shout out, there are two of you guys. And the first one goes out to Slime Dino and Gracie Osborne. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on. And if you guys want to get shout out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down, down below when you have done that. I did purchase so many slimes. So before this intro gets too long, let's get right on into the first one. Woo! Starting off with our package from Rotom Slimes, I purchased four slimes for a total of $95.16, including shipping, and shipping was around $22. The package took around seven days to arrive, which is pretty typical. All slimes were nicely bubble wrapped, and they included a packet that had their business card, borax, and a haichu, my fave. I also noticed they included an extra slime, which was so nice of them to do, so thank you so much for that. So here's the extra slime that they included. I believe these jars are all seven ounce containers and they came with a dome shaped lid, which is really nice for when slimes inflate. This is a pretty purple clear slime filled with iridescent glitters and hollow star glitters. It's so thick for a clear slime and I'm pretty sure they use a different clear glue, which makes the slime feel a little bit different also. The way I describe this slime is a thick jiggly slime. It's stretchy, but it has a little bit of an elastic like feel to it when you try to stretch it so you can't really stretch it too fast or it will rip this clear slime in particular feels like a coated clear slime because it doesn't feel tacky which is amazing it has a light scent that kind of smells like a grape juice scent i know i can be off with my scents, so please correct me if this was completely wrong but i really like this extra slime So first up from the slimes I purchased, we have Heart Cream Cake. This is a DIY clay slime that comes with a pink, thick and glossy base that also has a slightly jiggly feel to it. This slime comes with a large clay heart that looks just like a cake. I love the texture of this clay piece because it almost looks like there's frosting spread all over it. It looks so realistic. It also came with a kitty charm and matching Fimos that I just added on top of the cake and it looks so adorable. The clay piece was so much fun to mix into the base. It's almost like an equal amount of clay to slime you get such a large clay piece with this kit after mixing the clay in it turns the slime into a soft fluffy butter slime texture this slime is very inflating and it also has such a light and airy feel to it especially when you hold it and stretch it it just feels like a poofy sizzly texture it is amazing on their site it says it's scented with a strawberry milk tea scent which i can definitely smell it's a light scent that smells delicious i highly recommend this slime. Moving on, we have mermaid water. By the way, I completely forgot to mention that all of the slimes were nicely labeled with their logo and slime label as well. This is a clear jelly cube slime that came with a mermaid charm and seashell glitters that I got to add on myself. I just love when slime shops let you DIY your charms and add-ins. It just makes it such a cool slime experience. So this slime has different colored sponges in it and I noticed on their site they listed them as emerald, mint, and sky sponges. Very unique. It also says that it's a coated clear slime and you can definitely tell the difference right away as soon as you touch it. The slime doesn't have a tacky feel to it like most clear slimes do. If you've never felt a coated clear before, I highly recommend snatching one from their shop. This slime is similar to the previous extra slime in the way that it stretches. It's definitely different from clear slimes. It has a slightly elastic stretch to it and you will notice it is a thick jiggly slime, but I love how unique it is. You just can't really compare it to a regular clear slime. Overall, this is an amazing slime that's so inflating as well and I also love the scent it has a fairly strong soda scent Next up, we have Bunny Bingsu. 
The base of this slime is another coated clear slime that's filled with so many iridescent Bingsu beads. It also came with pretty flower femos and an adorable bunny charm that I just added on top of the slime. This is a super crunchy slime that is so much fun to play with. I also can notice a difference between this slime and Bingsu slimes I've purchased from other shops before. And I'd say the main difference is that this slime seemed to inflate a lot quicker than other Bingsu bead slimes. And it did get slightly tacky quicker than other slimes the more I kept inflating it. It's amazing for crunches and pops and it was really satisfying to play with. I also loved how you could smell the strong sweet apple scent as you stretch the slime. I love it so much and it's so fitting for this slime. This was another great one I highly recommend. And lastly, from Rotom Slimes, we have a DIY clay kit called Pond. I was so excited to snatch this one. This slime comes with a coated clear slime base, a white Bingsu bead slime, and also a blue icy slime that I just layered in the original container. It also comes with a clay koi fish, a lily pad, koi charm, and femos. It's such a creative slime and it looks so cute when it's all put together. So I noticed as I started playing with this slime, the clay koi fish piece was not mixed in. I think it may have hardened up in transit so it ended up breaking into pieces. Maybe it was meant to be a charm though and not a clay piece but either way the texture of the slime still turned out amazing. This is one of the most inflating slimes I've ever played with before. It has some nice bubble pops and pokes. And from the inflation, this slime turned into a sizzly slime. It just becomes a poofy, fluffy slime that almost reminds me of a cloud. It's so fun to squish and pop. And I also love how the slime hardly gets sticky or tacky after inflation, probably due to the coated clear base. I didn't need to reactivate the slime at all as I kept playing with it. I also love the scent. It's scented with a light lemon scent that smells refreshing and so good. And now we have our package from Putty Egg. Packaging was really great. All items arrived in perfect condition. I purchased seven slimes for a total of $109.80 and shipping was free over $100, which was really nice. My package also arrived so quickly. It came in just four days. So I'm gonna be reviewing only five slimes in this video and the rest will be on my TikTok just so the video isn't extremely long. All slimes are also labeled really nicely with their logo sticker and slime label. They look so professional. So first up, we have Happy Egging. This is a milky colored slime that came with a cute broken egg charm. And guys, I must say, I really had no idea that they carried jiggly slimes. I didn't see a description on their shop and I was in a rush to buy from them because I had no idea how fast they sold out. But this is a very unique texture and something I've never seen before from any slime shop. And I think you guys know how I feel about store-bought jiggly slimes, but I'd have to say this one is different. It's kind of addicting to play with and satisfying in a way. I'm also obsessed with the scent. It seems like it may be a melon scent. It's a light one that smells so good. It's a really unique texture and I think they did a really good job with it. Next up, we have Floating Petals. This is another jiggly slime that is a pretty light pink color. It also came with a bag of fake petals that I added to the slime and it looks so pretty. I'm definitely going to do my research on how to play with jiggly slimes because in a strange way, this slime is relaxing to play with, maybe because it's just so unique. This may also be how I'm playing with the slime, but I noticed it does break and rip apart and start sticking to my hands, leaving residue all over which I wasn't really a huge fan of because it's a little difficult to get off. But again, it's probably something I'm just doing wrong. I do love this scent. It smells like a sweet, juicy apricot scent that smells incredible. Next up, we have a DIY clay slime, which is called Sunflower Stroopwaffle Ice Cream. The base is a thick and glossy white slime that is ultra thick, and I am obsessed with it. This DIY comes with so many components. We have a realistic clay stroopwaffle, an ice cream clay scoop, 
a clay leaf and sunflower and it also came with a yellow clear syrup along with sunflower femos and sunflower seeds to top it all off this slime looks so adorable when it's put together i just love the whole concept i really didn't want to mix the clay pieces in but i just had to do it the clay pieces are so soft and fluffy and they mixed into the base really well it helps soften the slime while also turning it into an ultra fluffy smooth and creamy consistency this slime is nice for poking and it also has some great pops and it turned into a nice holdable texture after mixing. It feels somewhat dense, but I love the end result texture. It's scented like coconut water pineapple ice cream, and it's a very different scent, but the more I kept smelling it, it kind of reminded me of sunflowers in a way. Overall, this was an amazing DIY clay slime. And on to the next slime, we have banana juice. This one is another water slime similar to the previous ones from earlier. This is a clear yellow slime that comes with a cute matching banana juice charm. This is definitely a unique slime to try out and I'd love to hear what you guys think if you tried their water slimes before. And also if you can give me some tips and tricks for how to play with it, I would so much appreciate that too. I'm currently playing with the slime right now and I just find it satisfying to dip my fingers into the slime and see the slime jiggle. This one is scented with a fairly strong banana scent that smells so good. Definitely try it out if you want to experience something new. And lastly, we have cinnamon roll cheese danish. This is another DIY clay slime. The base of this slime is similar to the sunflower one. It's a thick and chewy white slime texture. It comes with this realistic cheese danish and it also came with an icing slime that I just drizzled all over along with an adorable cinnamon roll charm. The clay danish was so fun to mix into the base. It's another soft and fluffy clay piece. And the slime and clay are just so perfect for each other because the slime starts out ultra thick but the clay softens it so much turning it into an inflating texture this is another great slime for asmr the pokes and pops are incredible with this slime the best way to describe the final texture is a chewy poofy slime and it's just so inflating and sizzly too it's like the ultimate slime texture that everyone needs in their collection i just reviewed slime Aroos from peachy babies and i recognize this scent right away it smells just like it it has a cinnamon like cake scent that smells delish 10 out of 10 I recommend this one it was incredible you guys this week thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video as i said earlier don't forget to comment more slime shops you guys want to see in future review videos i'm always reading and liking your guys's comments and your suggestions help me know what shops you guys want to see in videos so comment below i've noticed that my channel has been growing and i wanted to thank you guys for continuing to support me in all my videos and i promise to upload more and more videos for you guys so thank you guys for sticking with me and don't forget thursday may 12th 8 p.m eastern standard time 5 on Pacific Standard Time, I will have brand new slimes restocked. I will be posting a restock list and giveaway details in my next video, but in case you guys want to see it sooner, you guys can follow my slime Instagram account at Slimes. Definitely follow me on there if you're interested in purchasing slime because I post on there daily so you won't miss out. Thank you all so much for being here and being a member of the K-Squad. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.